Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how bookmarks in Google Chrome works. So what a bookmark is, is a little link that you've saved from a website, basically the URL address of a website, um, that gets saved onto your web browser so that you can access that same link quickly at a future date. So in a way, it's similar to if you went into the web browser's history and you clicked on the same link that it had saved for you, except it's saved in a more permanent fashion. So the way you save a bookmark, at least the quickest way, is in Google Chrome, whenever you're on a website you want to save, you go over to the far right on uh, your search bar, and there's going to be a little icon, it's a star, you click bookmark this page. And when you do that, it's going to add a bookmark immediately to your bookmarks list, and you can choose a folder for it to exist. Now, by default, there are two folders, the bookmarks bar, which we'll talk about in a minute, and other bookmarks, which is just a generic folder for storing bookmarks that you don't want on the bar. But you can, of course, create other folders, and you can also create folders that exist, uh, say, as a nested folder within the bookmarks bar or within other bookmarks or any other folder. So for right now, I'll go ahead and add this to the bookmarks bar, but we, when we do that, you see that the bookmarks bar does not appear. There's a few ways to actually open that up, one of which is Control shift b uh, all, all at the same time on your computer, which makes this drop down. Uh, another way, if you're not very fond of hotkeys, is to click on this three-dot settings menu on the far top right, go down to bookmarks, and then hit show bookmarks bar. Uh, you can also use bookmark manager, if you want to see all of the bookmarks instead of just the bookmarks that are on the bar. So we'll open that up as well. So the bookmarks manager, you can see all of your bookmarks that exist inside of Chrome. You can also see um, in the URL bar that typing in Chrome uh, colon forward slash forward slash bookmarks would bring you to this exact same page. Um, so for bookmarks that exist on your bar, it's probably the most convenient place to keep bookmarks or links that you want to easily access. Uh, we can manage it further by adding folders. In. So if you want to add a folder of bookmarks onto your bar, and a folder is just a container for holding multiple bookmarks on it, we can right click and hit add folder. You can also see right clicking and adding page will allow you to manually add in a bookmark rather than hitting the star. Uh, we'll do add folder here. So when we do that, you can see that the folder can be created not only under the bookmarks bar, but also other bookmarks or any other area inside of um, our Chrome bookmark system. So I'm going to call this the test folder and I'm going to save it. Now, uh, because we had the bookmarks bar highlighted, it got added under test folder uh, or it got added under the bookmarks bar. So we can see that because we can drop this down now. Test folder is contained within bookmarks bar in the hierarchy. We can easily uh, move that around though. So if I don't want it to go under there, I can, uh, let's see, maybe create a folder under other bookmarks. So other two, save that there. It doesn't appear in the bar. But if we want to move this folder off of the bookmarks bar, we can right click the bar, go to bookmarks manager, uh, or access the bookmarks manager in any of the other ways we talked about earlier. So in the bookmarks manager, we can drag and drop these folders to put them inside of other folders. So we can move the test folder over here to other bookmarks. And now it's no longer on the bar, but instead it's under other bookmarks, which is technically on the bar, but is um, meant for containing bookmarks that are less uh, often accessed. But you'll notice that we can't drag this out and create a completely third category of folders. It has to be nested under one of those two, unlike Firefox. Um, but for the most part, that's going to be fine. So let's get that folder back in there on the bookmarks bar. Uh, now, we have this test folder, and we want to put bookmarks actually in it, right? So what if we bookmark the bookmarks manager page? So let's save this link, and I'm going to not put it under the uh, bookmarks bar, but I'm going to put it under the test folder which exists on the bookmarks bar. So you can see the bookmark manager just got moved under test folder, which is contained on the, books the bookmarks bar. We can also right click here, add a new folder. So let's call it nested folder. And this folder will be a folder within the folder that exists on the bookmarks bar. So bookmarks bar into test folder, into nested folder, 
And then we can pop, pop this in, drag and drop. And uh, doing that, you can manage an awful lot of bookmarks. So for instance, uh, let's say we had a category called eBooks. And under that, we had a category called, uh, I don't know, drama or something like that. And then maybe in there, we also had a category called uh, romance drama. So we're getting very, very specific in what these links are supposed to represent here. Maybe that's one too many levels, to be honest, but uh, it's kind of up to you how you want to manage that. And then uh, we go to Amazon.com or something like that, and we save that. And we put it in drama, which is nested under uh, nested under ebooks. We can move it one category further and put it in romance. Uh, you can see how when you go to three or four layers, it, it gets a little bit too much. I, I probably stop after the uh, two folders, like ebooks, drama, and then stop there. Three, maybe too many. Uh, but yeah, that's how you can organize your links. And then whenever you want to access these links, all you need to do is go back in here, find them, click on it and it will immediately access the website exactly how you saved it uh, without you having to type anything in on the URL bar. So for instance, if we have this really nested page, we wanna save this specific page, which would be probably pretty hard to find six months in the future. It might not even be on the front page anymore. We can save that. Um, so let's get that in eBooks. And then later on, we access that same page just by clicking here and going Amazon.com, Bluetooth. Oh, it gives us the exact same link. Now, can you imagine if you had to actually type this address in, you would never get there. Um, it's just way too long of a URL to even consider. So that's one of the uses for bookmarks. Um, with Chrome, you can also sign into a Chrome-specific account. I believe it's directly tied with your Google account. So if you have a Gmail address, this will work out perfectly. You sign in. And then uh, you'll, you'll be able to basically automatically have your bookmarks synced between your devices. So once you sign into Google and you start syncing, um, these folders are going to automatically sync between all of your devices. So if you log into Google Chrome on both mobile device, maybe on Windows, maybe even on Macintosh or Linux, if you're kind of a little bit spicy there, uh, you'll have the same bookmarks on all of those devices. So syncing plus bookmarks to manage pages you want to save is a really useful tool for navigating the internet and remembering places that you've been that you want to revisit. So I highly recommend you give it a shot if you haven't already. And I hope that this video on introducing bookmarks has been useful for you guys. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.